In the previous video, I demonstrated how to load custom textures in Dolphin Emulator. Today I'll be showing you how to dump and make your own custom textures, which you can then load in-game. To get things started, head over to Dolphin or Isharuka. Go to Graphics, Advanced, and check Dump Textures. Once it's checked, you can exit out of the configurations and launch the game that you want to make custom textures for. For this example, I'll be doing Mario Kart Double Dash. Dolphin will rip the textures that appear on screen, so make sure you go to the point in the game that you want to make custom textures for. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to be editing the start screen, but you can make things a lot more advanced if you spent more time. Once you've gotten to the point in the game that you want to get custom textures for, you can close out of Dolphin, head over to the emulator's directory, in most cases it will be in the documents folder unless you specify it to save otherwise. Go to dump, textures, and you should have the folder with your game ID. I have two because I've also done this with Paper Mario, but you should only have one if you've only done this with one game. From here, find the texture that you want to make a custom texture for. I'm going to be replacing the Mario Kart Double Dash title screen. In most cases, the files will be a .dds, so if you don't have something like paint.net or the DDS plugin for Photoshop, you won't be able to edit the files. Thankfully, paint.net is free, so you should be able to edit it from there. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to keep things simple, but you could do more advanced things once you get more familiar with how to edit textures. I'll leave a playlist at the end of the video at some of my custom textures that I've made on my personal channel. I'm going to be replacing Mario Kart Double Dash's menu screen with Mario Kart 8's. To do this, I'm just going to go to Google, type in Mario Kart 8 menu, and then just copy and paste. Again, I'm not too concerned about making it look nice just for the sake of demonstration, but if you put more time and effort into it, you can create a really cool mod pack. Once you're done editing the textures, save the image as a DDS or .png file. For these are the only two files Dolphin will read as textures. Then you should see your texture has been replaced. The folder's title has to be the name of the game ID, so simply copy the name of the folder under Dump Textures and make a folder with the exact same name in Load Textures. Then, take the texture you edited in Dump Textures and copy it over to Load Textures. Always make sure your custom textures are titled correctly as the dumped textures, otherwise they won't load in Dolphin. Once you have that done, go back to Ishiruka or Dolphin, go to Graphics, Advanced, uncheck Dump Textures, and check Load Custom Textures. Now whenever you head back to your game, you should see your custom textures have loaded. And it's as easy as that. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like below and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or concerns, comment below and I'll be sure to respond as soon as possible. Until next time, bye.